Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The SS Horn is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome visual stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for March 24. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all the kinds of games that I can build. This one is a list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. By the way, I'm currently working on a fun selling video for tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned for that. And if you need any assets, then very quick mention, this bundle is ending in one day. It's an excellent bundle full of Cynthia assets, so if you're a fan of their style, then this bundle is definitely worth it. It probably has something like, I don't know, 3,000 assets on for 25 bucks, so definitely worth it. You can build a ton of interesting games with these assets. And there's another one with also a bunch of tools and also a bunch of assets, this one for just 15 bucks. You've got some interesting particle effects, a bunch of interesting tools, a really high-end character, some wickets and so on. And again, this one is also ending in two days. So if you need either of these, definitely get it quickly. Alright, so starting off with a really awesome sci-fi dinosaur. This is a really high quality model. Personally, I love the design. It comes with three skins and 26 animations, so I could see this one being perfect if you're making some kind of game inspired by Horizon Zero Dawn. Or if you're building a survival or garden management game, if so, here are a bunch of tools. There's quite a lot of variety in all of this. I don't even know the name for half of these tools. You've got some hammers, there's a bunch of axes, there's some shovels, some rakes, and also a really nice wheelbarrow. Next, if you want characters with tons of customization, then check out this one. It's a huge pack with over a thousand modular pieces, allowing for near infinite variation. I use a pack just like this one in my own game, Dinky Gardens. If you want to know how I built the character customization system, then check out my tutorial for it. You could use that exact same system and use it as a base to apply it on this asset. Then for some fun VFX, here are some map trackers. These are really cool, would be great for all kinds of use cases. Right away, it makes me think that it would be perfect for an RTS to control some units, or maybe something like Diablo, some top-down action game. It has 24 effects with lots of shapes and colors to represent whatever you want. Then if you need a gorgeous castle environment, check out this one. It's got some really, really high quality models, all with some really gorgeous lava. It's made up of modular pieces, so you can easily build up your own castles. Or you can use this pack in some kind of survival game where the players themselves can build their own castles. This one is made by Nature Manufacturer, which is a publisher with tons of super high quality stuff. Or if you need some artistic effects, check out this bundle. This one contains 10 really interesting unique effects. You can make your game look kind of like an oil painting, or you can isolate some colors, like only show the red, or you can get some kind of comic look, or just a really awesome tilt shift effect. Adding an effect like this one on top of your game, this is an excellent way to give it that extra bit of polish and make it really awesome. Then if you need some mechs, check out this pack. These are some super complex looking mechs. There's some small ones and some really huge, very powerful ones. They have a very unique style with lots of miniguns and rockets, so I can see this being perfect for some kind of mech warrior inspired game. Or if you're into something a bit more spooky, then check out this horror prison. It looks extremely creepy. If you are interested in making some horror prototype, then this would be a great level you can just use straight up. You can just get a first person controller, you add some spooky music and some scary monsters, and right away you have something fun and scary to play with. Then if you need some animations, check out this parkour animation set. These are all very cool animations. You've got lots of slides, jumps, rolls, front flips, and of course lots of falls. So if you'd like to make your own game, kind of like Assassin's Creed or Mirror's Edge, then this would be perfect. Next, if you're into making some automation game and you'd like some visuals, check out these really nice machines. All in a nice and inviting low poly style. It features 21 machines, all with their own animations. Also includes conveyor belts and lots and lots of props. So great pack for any kind of automation prototype. Or if you're making a post-apocalyptic game, then check out this command center. My first thought when I saw this one is that it looks just like The Division, so this would be perfect for some game where society has crumbled and this is your command center. Or maybe with some interesting lighting, this could be a fun level in some sort of horror mystery game where you gather some unique items. Then if you're going for something military, check out this huge sniper rifle. It's a high caliber rifle with hands and first person animations. You've got idle, run, inspect, shoot, zoom and a bunch more. If you like this pack, then this dev has tons more weapons and animations. Next here's a fun one, it's a globe. However, this one isn't just visual. It has some logic to place objects on specific points in the globe. This one comes with three globes and 8k textures. Or maybe instead of an entire world, you just need a futuristic city. Look at this one. It looks very sleek, very clean. It's all futuristic, but not too sci-fi. This one contains a ton of buildings with lots of modular parts so you can build your own. Next, for a fun visual effect, check out this world scan. It starts a scan running outwardly from a point. 
It expands and attaches to any geometry. It also includes some scripts in order to highlight some objects. So it identifies if the scan has touched those objects, and if so, it shows their distance. So this could be great for some kind of detective mode in your game, some kind of radar scan to find all kinds of enemies and objects. Then if you're making a 3D platformer and you need a level, check out this one. It's got all the things you expect from a 3D platformer. There are coins, enemies, hammer swinging. There's things to push you away, some cannons. There's some stars and even a trophy at the end. This one has a winter theme, which looks really great. And if you like this style, the Distav has tons more platform packs. These are really great if you want to quickly get a prototype working. Next, if you need some UI elements, check out this super casual pack. It looks exactly like you expect. There's lots of bright colors with some solid shapes. There's plenty of buttons, sliders, trophies, icons, joysticks, and a bunch more. Or maybe you'd like to make your own game kind of like The Sims. If so, here's a pack with a ton of interiors. They look quite dirty, so this would be great for some kind of post-apocalyptic sims. You've got beds, couches, tables, and all of it looking quite worn down, but also really great. Or if you want the exact same thing, but a lot more jolly, check out this one. This is another huge pack. It's got over 700 models, all of it in a cute, cozy, inviting art style. You can build some bedrooms, build some living rooms, maybe build some bathrooms, a kitchen, or even a garage, or literally anything else. Then if you already have a character and you just want to equip something, then check out this hat pack. It features 66 models, there's some normal ones and some really wacky ones. This would be great for any kind of casual fun game, kind of like Fall Guys. Alright, so those are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity Asset Store for March 24. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and pedas on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.